Welcome to ihnani.com. This is the second video of Computer Fundamentals, Part 2. Level 1. Computer Internals. In this video, we shall look into the topic, what is a computer made up of? The computer. What is a computer made up of? To answer this question in simple terms, we can say a computer is made up of hardware and software. Well, this answers our question completely. This will again give raise to a lot of other questions like, what is hardware? What is a software? Are the softwares same on every computer? In order to dig deeper into these, and also to understand what a computer is made up of, in a bit detail, we will have to pick a particular computer. Computers have surrounded us in various forms from a phone to plane. Since they are everywhere in various forms, for this topic, I will consider a personal computer, and I will be using the term computer to mean a personal computer. Now this leads to another question, what is a personal computer? PC. A PC is any general purpose computer whose size, capabilities, and original sales price make it useful for individuals, and which is intended to be operated directly by an end user, with no intervening computer operator. PCs include any type of computer that is used in a personal manner. In our context, we shall be referring a desktop computer when we say a PC or a computer. A PC is made up of hardware and software. Computer operation requires both hardware and software. Hardware design specifies a computer's capability, while software instructs the computer on what to do. Computer hardware Computer's hardware is nothing but the physical components and devices that make a computer. It is that part of the computer which is physical and palpable or can be touched. PCs use highly standardized components and so are simple for an end user to assemble into a working system. A typical desktop computer consists of the following. A computer case. A computer case holds the following components but it's not necessary that all these components are a must. Motherboard CPU RAM ROM BIOS Hard disk Optical disk drives SMPS, which is a power supply unit Input devices Though, all the devices mentioned below can be connected to a computer together and used, anyone is sufficient. Keyboard Mouse Joystick Webcam Scanner Microphone Output devices. Any one of the following is sufficient, though there can be more than one depending on the requirement. Monitor. Printer. Speakers. Now that's a lot of things. Most of these are quite common these days, but all the components that I mentioned that are in the box. You would have heard of them but might not have seen it. Now that we have listed these, let us now dig deeper into each of these components. Computer case A computer case, also known as a computer chassis, cabinet, box, tower, enclosure, housing, system unit or simply case, is the enclosure that contains most of the components of a computer usually excluding the input, output devices. In this picture you can see a typical ATX computer case. A computer case is sometimes called incorrectly referred to metonymously as a CPU. Cases, 
are usually constructed from steel or aluminium, although other materials such as wood, and plastic have been used. Cases can come in many different sizes, or form factors. The size and shape of a computer case, is usually determined by the form factor of the motherboard, that it is designed to accommodate, since this is the largest and most central component of most computers. Consequently, personal computer form factors typically specify only the internal dimensions and layout of the case. Currently, the most popular form factor for desktop computers is ATX, Advanced Technology Extended, although micro ATX and small form factors have become very popular for a variety of uses. A computer case is where most of the components of a computer are. Let us now get into the details of the components that are housed in a computer case. Motherboard The motherboard is the primary circuit board within a PC. This picture shows a typical motherboard. This image shows an Intel motherboard, one of the leaders in processor and motherboard manufacturers. Now, let us look at some of the common components that are available in a typical motherboard. CMOS backup battery, a small coin-sized battery, which supplies power to the CMOS to retain, date, time and configuration information when the power is turned off. Back panel connectors. When the motherboard is mounted into a computer case, the connectors panel show up behind the computer case. Each of the connector provided on the panel is used to plug the mouse, keyboard, monitor, printer, sound system and any other peripherals you may have. In this picture you can see a diagram of a typical panel with various connectors. This is a PS2 port. Usually there will be two PS2 ports with green and purple colors green to connect a PS2 mouse and purple to connect a PS2 keyboard. These are USB ports. Though the picture shows six ports, they can be more or less number of ports based on the design of the motherboard. USB stands for Universal Serial Bus, is a specification to establish communication between devices and a host controller, usually a PC. USB can connect computer peripherals such as mice, keyboards, digital cameras, printers, personal media players, flash drives, network adapters, external hard drives etc. This is a VGA port. VGA stands for Video Graphics Array. It is also commonly known as RGB connector. D sub 15, mini sub D15, and mini D15. As it consists of a total of 15 pins in three rows, it is found on many video cards, computer monitors, laptop computers, and some high definition television sets. A VGA connector is the most common port on any computer to connect any standard monitor to the CPU. On laptops it can also be used to connect an external monitor. This is a DVI port. DVI stands for Digital Video Interface. DVI is a video interface standard, covering the transmission of video between a source device, such as a PC, and a display device. It is notable for being, the first digital video transmission cable interface to achieve widespread acceptance in the PC industry, both in desktop and laptop PCs and monitors. The vast majority of desktop PCs and LCD monitors feature a DVI interface, and many other devices, such as projectors and consumer televisions, support DVI indirectly through HDMI, another video interface standard. This picture shows a DVI connector. This is a HDMI port. HDMI stands for High Definition Multimedia Interface, a compact audio-video interface for transmitting uncompressed digital data. 
HDMI connects digital audio video sources, such as said top boxes, HD DVD players, Blu-ray disc players, AVC HD camcorders, PCs, video game consoles, etc. to compatible digital audio devices, computer monitors, video projectors, and digital televisions. This is RJ45 standard Ethernet port. An RJ45 standard Ethernet port is an opening on computer network equipment, which is used to plug in RJ45 cables to enable a PC to connect to other computers or network devices through a LAN or Internet. This picture shows a typical Ethernet port connector, which is plugged into the Ethernet port. These are sound card ports. These three ports are used to connect analog audio device to a computer. And the three ports come in different colors, pink port for connecting a microphone for audio input, light blue port for analog line level audio input and lime green for analog line level audio output for the main stereo signal, which can be used to connect speakers or headphones. Depending on the motherboard design and configuration, we can have additional ports or even without some of the above mentioned ports. Now, this should give you some idea about the different types of cables that are connected to your computer case. In the next video of Computer Fundamentals, Part 2, Level 1. I will continue with the CPU socket and other connectors and components that are housed in a motherboard. You can find a lot of free video tutorials, training materials, how-to videos and much much more at our site www.inani.com. Check out the forum topic related to this tutorial on the site for all your questions.